uh, for inviting me and to present my uh, current research progress. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the RICE Oligo Array Database load for an atlas of RICE gene expression and its application for functional genomic analysis. So I have three outlines. The first thing is short introduction of microarray technology for uh, RICE research. And the second thing is the Oligo Array Database, load database. And the last thing is the application for functional genomic analysis using the uh, uh, load. So microarray is the, simply the basic plan for the system's biology. The reason is the microarray cover the whole genome scale transcriptome. And also there are so many reference data and there are two types of the array well known. The epimetrics is a single channel array, and the others mostly two channel array. But the Agilent array also available for the single ch channel array experiment. So I summarized the microdata platform in the RISE. There are six array platforms available from our website, and all of them, so all of them, oops, sorry. Of them, the, the one with the, the bold levels can cover the whole genome. And may, most of them can cover the 80 or 90 percent of the annotated gene in the rice. And, uh, oops, sorry again. And right now, there are more than 30,000 array data is available and we are all available from the NCBI GEO. And also, of them, epimetrics and agilent in the rice are more popular, and uh, because these chips are commercialized and the tool for the data analysis have been well developed. So, and we are mostly using the, these two array data from these two array platform. And also, I summarized all the database uh, for gene expression analysis in the rice. The first thing is load. I will explain later. Explore already well explained about. So, main feature is like. Uh, providing this kind of the and unique feature away from the uh, the XP Pro is like uh, cell type array data and hormone and cell calorism data and also they provide direct, direct link to the other database and also the FlexDB GeneBestGate bar or the G, G Atlas in the light like G also useful uh, gene expression database and there uh, yeah different feature they have and also the last three databases, including the rice plan, is for the co-expression analysis. So you can use the, this website and you, you can get useful information for your gene of interest. And I'm going to talk about uh, how to use the load for your experiment. So this is the main homepage and we have uh, five main tools available from this website. So first thing is we provide this a single or multiple pl platform probe search tools. So first you can go to the, the element search and click the, you can, you know, there's the option. And if you click the multiple search uh, option, then you can move to this uh, website. And then you, know, you can uh, call with these three types of the gene ID and submit. So this is one example. So we have an example, the sample, uh, ID here, and if you click this thing, then you can get this kind of the, the information from the website. So, so this is the Optimetrics provided, and Agilon 22K, Agilon 44K, and BGI array, and NSF array. So then you can use this probe information and get the data from the other array platform. And second thing is the gene expression analysis for the individual data set. So we get the data from the NCBI, NCBI GO, and we, we provide a 6-2 the data series and consistent of this number of slide. And also we provide uh, data for the different array platform. And if we choose, then you, there is some option for the individual data set. So, and if, we, and if you uh, upload your gene list with the gene ID, and also you can uh, upload your the array element ID also. And choose the uh, select platform and select experiment and select the display format like a heat map or graphic viewer and also you can choose the so range of the intensity for the heat map so this is the example gene list and you can get this kind of heat map so this is heat map for the this selected experiment and this is the range of the, the intensity in the heat map and this is sample name and this is probe ID 
Also, you can get the detailed information of the probe ID. And so, Opimetrics, yeah, many cases, yeah, <coughs> multiple target, uh, multiple probe target for a single locus. Also, we provide this kind of information through the website. And also, detailed information about the, some query there, the data set. And next option is we also provide a meta analysis. So you can go expression analysis and then click the meta analysis. So we provide two kinds of the meta analysis for the two kinds of array platform. If you click the API matrix and there is two kinds of the meta profiling database. As you can choose the heat map or classic expression graph output option. Also you can choose the range of the intensity. So this is the examples. Uh, chain list and I yeah, use the chain ID and select the optimatic ray and anatomy and show the hit map option. And so we have the meta probing database for the uh, optimatrix consists of 26 uh, anatomy sample with uh, the image and types of the sample name and all these ensure there are some frequency of root and root preferred expression. Also, you can change the platform here and choose the, the different uh, meta profiling analysis. And if you update, click the update, then you can get the, some, the array data from the Agilent array platform. So from this analysis, you can easily confirm the tissue preferred expression without any some wet experiment. And also provide some graphic view, so this can show the root preferred expression. Also, you can get the detailed information about the, some Call the gene. And this is summary for the meta profiling analysis. So you can go to the rice oligo array through the Google and then upload your gene list and then get the, some open matrix anatomical meta profiling data. Also, you can get the Ozilant uh, anatomy meta profiling data. So you can easily compare the tissue preferred expression through these web tools. And also we provide co-expression analysis. So we have two options. One option provide a gene list uh, for, you, for your query the gene. And another option provide a network. So first thing is the co-expression analysis. So you can also use the, some, the locus ID from the, the uh, uh, MSU or LabDB. And you can choose three types of the database. We provide the whole data, or well, uh, vital stress and vital stress. And can, you can choose the cut of the co-expression uh, co analysis. This is default value. And then you can get this kind of table list. So this, this value indicates uh, correlation coefficient value showing the, the amount of uh, uh, similarity with your gene and uh, <coughs> list of gene. And this is positively associated and negatively associated. So then you can copy and paste to, your, paste to the sub Excel, then you can get the, this uh, list of genes in your uh, data. And also you provide uh, some co-expression network analysis, the same way, same way. So this is example gene list, and then we also provide three options, general, abi abiotic, and biotic. And this is cut up, and also we provide different level of the co-expression network. This is primary network option, this is secondary network option, and tertiary network option. So if you get the network from the first option, it's enough. But if you do not find the network, you can choose another secondary network option. So this is one example. And also it's based on the Cytoscape viewer option. You can move uh, through the website. And also you can download the network file and you can use the, this data for, with the Cytoscape program. You can, you can make it a better data actually than this web-based data. And also we provide some gene ontology and enrichment analysis. And yeah, the, this analysis, you can carry with the gene ID and geo ID. And gene ontology types, uh, there are three principal categories, bi biological process and cellular component and molecular function. And this is example, gene list. And I uh, choose the gene ID and biological process option. And this is the result. So we first provide the uh, uh, locus ID and annotation and geo ID and uh, geo name. And this is the gene uh, mapped by the uh, geo annotation. And this is the result of the geo enrichment analysis. And this, well, yeah, this is the geo name and this is the geo level. And it's a total reference number. 
in reference number in the query uh, is, is the to total number in the genome for the uh, this gene ontology, and this is query the uh, gene total, and this is query the number in this uh, uh, belong to this gene ontology, and we calculated some the significance based on the p value. So the one showing the significant enrichment marked with the, the, the red color through the website. And if you manipulate or modify, then you can make some table data for your some, uh, some publication. <coughs> so next, so next I will show you the, some application of the, some database we develop. So, so live set of data is very useful to make some additional application. So we made uh, uh, many kind of the meta profiling database. So the previous I show you the, the meta profiling data of the anatomy and developmental state. But we also de developed the other types of the meta profiling data. But all many ca many of these cases we still so optimizing the, the database. Then later we will uh, also, also release it to the public. So of them, I will show you the, some application of the some this database. So uh, using the, this database consists of over the around the 600, uh, 400 Japonica array slide, and also uh, consists of uh, 600 Indica array data. And we we identify the around the 100 Indica polypod gene, and also we identified around 500 Japonica polypod gene. And we expect that this uh, gene may have uh, explained some trait differentiated be uh, between the Japonica and Indica during the domestication. So we checked uh, some, the, some the major trait related to the yield potential in our field condition. And the, uh, this uh, Nippon Bar is uh, one of the Japonica variety, and this is uh, uh, one of the Indica variety. We measure the poor trait related to the yield potential, and mostly uh, the, the IR64 has the better yield potential, so longer pinnacle length and more seed number and the heavier some 10,000 seed weight. So we uh, decide, the, uh, we generally understand it, but uh, 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 Indica has the better yield potential, even in our field condition. So some of our some the Japonica or Indica polypod gene may explain some uh, different trait between these two uh, cultivars, I think. So we look for the overall picture of this uh, gene list. So interestingly, we find the oops, yeah, oops. sorry, uh, find the overrepresentation of unknown or T element in the Japonica Indica EQTR. So this is the general estimation for the, the dark gray one is the, the ratio for the transposable element, and gray one is the ratio of the unknown gene. You can see this is a general estimation, but in case of Japonica, in case of transposable element, Japonica EQTR or indicator in has a little 1.5 fold more than the general estimation. Um, but more interestingly, the unknown gene ratio is uh, much higher than the general es estimation. So in case of indicated care, it has the four-fold more than the general estimation. Also, uh, Japonica equator has the five-fold more than the general estimation. We also check the, some differentially expressed in other stress or developmental stage. In case of light inducible gene, only 0.6% uh, of the transfer elements was differentially expressed. And also drop uh, responsible gene, also the low percentage of the, the gene show the difference expression than the general estimation. That means the uh, transposable element has better significant role during the, some domestication between the Japonica and Indica. Also, functional characterization of the unknown gene may express the new, tra new trait uh, uh, differentiate between the Japonica and Indica. And also, we uh, upload this data to the MEMMAN tools. So MEMMAN provide a diverse view. Of them, we use the cellular uh, response of view. And then, very uh, obviously, biotech stress was yeah, the, uh, obviously overrepresented in the Japonica and Indica EQTRs. So we to, to find out about the individual component 
uh, of the biodextrate mediate signaling pathway, we used another tool uh, installed in the man man. So biodextrate all view, and yeah, we found the gene related to some recognition of the pathogen or arsine. We found here, and the gene related to the oxidative stress. Also find the gene related to signaling pathway or train factor work key, also found the heat stress responsible gene or gene involved in the secondary metabolite. And also identify gene involved in the proteolysis and hormone response. So this thing is very useful resource to construct model uh, mediated by the uh, by the stress, mediated by the some saponica indica preferred gene. So this is give us some new uh, some idea to find improve some threat related to biotic stress. And another application using the some abide stress data. So we have the database for the abide stress, and then we identify the the draft and sort preprotein through the, the the multiple comparison of the draft and sort. We identify this number of gene, and we doing the systemic functional genomic analysis with the the loss of function mutant of this gene. And until now we have a 50 mutant to line, and we will do detailed functional analysis. We, uh, we are underdoing the detailed functional analysis for the, this gene. And also by using this gene, also we use the, try to identify the, the promoter. So we have the promoter trap line and looking for the promoter trap line and test cost assay and identify the one line showing the draft industrial expression. That means we can use this promoter to improve the, uh, the crop with the enhanced uh, draft tolerance. And also we use the anatomy data and we uh, identify the leap or shoot preferred gene. And also using the promoter drop line, and we identify the two, the root or leap preferred gene. And one of the example, this gene shows the, the high level expression in the large number of the, the leap and the shoot sample, and show the strong expression in the leap, uh, leap and shoot sample, and also through the the <coughs> cross-section of the leaf, uh, this gene shows that the mesophyll cell preferred expression may involved in the, some cropyl biosynthesis or some other the <coughs> function. And for the, uh, all my group members, also uh, thanks for the collaborate. So Professor An in the, our university, he is support for the systematic functional genomic analysis. He developed the world's largest uh, gene index of the mutant. And also pro uh, Professor uh, Pam Leonard, uh, she was previous my uh, uh, <coughs> PI during my poster. She is about to develop the load database. Yeah, this is my funding agents. Thanks for your attention. Okay, we have time for one quick question. As you, as many of your data are from different studies, so did you have, did you have uh, any quality control rules to filter out the bad, bad uh, microarray data? Sorry, can you ask the question again? And you, many of your data are from different studies, mm -hmm. so there are many studies uh, may contain microarray data mm -hmm. with low quality. Low uh, quality hybridization. So I think uh, you may first uh, felt out this back hybridization and then doing your study. So uh, I, I don't know has you has, has you felt in the, this bad data. So usually uh, I use the some gene showing the some similar feature from the the multiple the data set. So we, we do not care about the gene showing the some pre pre expressing some uh, specific sample or condition. So we are more focused for the gene showing the globally similar expression pattern in the tissue type or stress responsible expression. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kihong, and uh, we'll now proceed.